Hey everybody, it's Professor Powell and welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin in the last part. We went to the forest folk and got just enough parts to discover the forest navel. Alright, so you remember how I said I wasn't going to try and have any deaths in this project? See how I can go without having any deaths in this project? Well, I'm only going to say I've had one so far, and I'm not going to count the other three because one of them was a suicide, and the other two, I still don't know what happened. So we're going to say we have one so far. Okay, okay, good, okay. Anyway, having done that, said that, complained about that, whatever. We're going to get out 15 yellows. We're not going to need too many of them today. And we're also going to get out 15 reds. We're not going to need any more of these for either one of these colors. Alright, we're going to get all of them working on this one gate. Leaving Olimar to go do his own thing for a little bit. And we're going to take Olimar here. Haha, <laughs> take that flower. And we're going to go to, oh boy, a blue onion. Booyah. You know what that means, don't you? It's time to get blue Pikmin. Spoilers, I know. Let's just dance around until this thing pops out. And this is, what I already told you it was, the blue Pikmin. Blue Pikmin have mouths. They're going to work like gills. And meaning that meaning blue Pikmin can go figure if they have gills, go in water. Um, making them pretty much my personal favorite Pikmin to use. Um, just because they're so versatile being able to go in water and on ground. They're also the most durable Pikmin. Um, they can take a beating like no other. Um, it's, it's not always going to see like, seem like that, but they're more durable than the red or the yellow. They have the same combat value as the yellow Pikmin. Um, so, yep. Anyway, that, that, so we're going to spend the most of our time here just building up our blue Pikmin count as best we can. Oh, look, the red bug. Uh, that is a new enemy. You're only going to see one of these in the entire game. He's going to try and drag away pellets and things like that. And what you're going to have to do is get more Pikmin on the pellet than what he can, care, um, can stand. And then make him hit his head on the top of the onion like so. You can also hurt him by smacking him to death with, okay, Sm okay, smacking him with Olimar, but it's not very practical, and throwing Pikmin directly on top of him, but neither one of these are an effective way of hurting him, and I don't recommend either one, so, instead, just do this. Okay, um, what did I just do? Oh, the other Pikmin finished that fence thing. Let's get them on that. And he's going to die. And oh my gosh, look at that. He had a ship part. This is the Space Float. Yet another unrequired ship part. But despite it being unrequired, they can still increase your ship's capabilities for whatever reason, so... Yep. Anyway, we're going to get the, uh... Blue Pikmin and his remains. Keep plucking these guys. And let's get them to get this five pellet here. Come on. There we go. You guys, is there any more? No. Alright, now that we've done that, let's just get them to go through there. Get all of our pigment out of the ground. And. Uh, okay, I already clicked on the space. Well, thank you. Wait for them to sprout, I guess. I suppose now that I have all the uh, pigment types, I'll uh, explain something here. Um, the pellets, if you match them up with their proper onion color, you'll get more Pikmin out of them, or actually you will get the correct number of Pikmin. If you do not match them up, you'll get less, with exception for the one pellets. With the one pellets, you'll get double for getting them for the um, proper Pikmin, simply put, because they couldn't divide one in half, and yeah. Anyway, so real quick, uh, we need to kill the enemies down here, these uh, nice little Sheerwigs here. I can't see, and that's a bad way of fighting, so die, 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 die. These Sheerwigs, though, they're going to fly if they get too much damage. And they'll recover health while they're in the air, so... Come on, come on, come on. No, no, don't kill him, 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 don't kill him. Don't kill him. No, I'm gonna lose two more Pikmin. Dang it. Wait, no, I saved one. Sweet. That's awesome. However, I still didn't lose one, though, so... Oh, well. Just gather the remains. Alright. Let them do that. Take these guys up here. We do need to focus today on getting our blue Pikmin numbers up. 
But there are some other stuff we can do on the side. Um, it's actually some pretty major stuff. We're gonna get as many as like three ship parts today, I think, if we're if I can step my game up. But yeah, it's pretty ambitious, I know. But I think we're up to it. Let's get all you guys. Go around that rock because they'll start banging their heads on it to get nectar. We don't need any nectar right now, so. Yep. Let's go over here to this. Actually, you know what? I think it only takes, like, yeah, whatever. I'll just work on it. I can't remember how many that takes to, uh. I hate it when the Pikmin just decide not to work. There we go. Come on. How many does that take? 15. Okay, so I could have just used my reds. Probably should have just used my reds. Dang it. Oh well. Alright, so we're going to let them carry that back. In the meantime, I'm going to go over here and pluck blue Pikmin, and we're going to get the space flow and heading on its way back. No crap! Red! 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 Live! 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 Okay, he died on land. He's... Oh, no. Dang it. Like I said, the other Pikmin can't go in water, so that was... tragic. Ah, oh well. I'm for low death. Let's just get all this stuff out and we'll start moving the space float. That's depressing. Alright, everyone moving this. Everyone, come on. Alright, I know I have more than 25 blues. Right? Are you kidding me? Do I have any more... Wrong button. Do I have any more blues? Yep. Dang it, I have to go get them. Leave them alone for now, because they're no use to anybody. Dang it, man. That's so annoying. Get you guys around. Come on. Alright, you guys, front center. Real quick, let's get these pellet posies, though. No reason to be. Those. And let's go get the space float. Oh, wow. That thing got back. Now, what is that thing? I never looked at it. That is the... Automatic gear. All right, cracked on through. Tried to fill it with. You're trying to fix it with dirt. Oh boy. No wonder you crashed. Your maintenance is terrible. Whatever. Just get the space float. All right. Now we've done that. Let's go over here and rally you guys. Head back up to the main area. This area is pretty closed off by. Uh, stone walls and we're really going to want to do something about that, so which is what my next goal is. We don't need any more red Pikmin actually, believe it or not, so we're going to put all 14 of them away, with a 15 of one of them inside to drown, so, yep. And we're going to take these uh, 15 yellows, and we're going to get some bomb rocks. I hate where the bomb rocks are placed on this level, it just, it's such a pain to get them out of here. Yeah, that's right, grab your bomb rocks, use your battle cry, whatever. Wow, how many of them didn't get a bomb rock, I wonder? Let's dismiss. Five. Okay, let's do that. And over here we have the number one Ionium jet. Alright, let's go up here. We're going to get the blue Pikmin to start carrying that back since the blue Pikmin don't have much better to do with themselves right now. They should be just about done carrying back that space float. Uh, where are they anyway? No, seriously, where'd the blue Pikmin go? Um, oh, there they are. Right down there, huh? Alright, well, I'll just go pluck a couple more in the meantime. Pluck you. Pluck you. And pluck you. Okay, now we head back up. Got an additional six, because that'll do me a whole lot of good. Should be getting back any second now. Oh, that stick's done, so that's nice. Okay, come on. Get up here, would you? Thank you. Let's go through this little area right here. Come on. Get in here. Get in. Come on, get in here. There we go. Okay, get all you guys back. Where's the space float? Wow, that thing is taking its sweet time getting here. Come on. It's not very good time management, but I'll take it, I guess. Get a few more Pikmin on just to make it go that much faster. 
Come on, come on, get up there. <sighs> Man, they are slow as death right now. They really need to be flowers. Come on. Come on. I guess I should, get, I should go get my yellows. But I don't want to until I got this space flood situation taken care of. Finally, there we go. Okay. Got the space flood. That'll do their little celebrate thing. Alright, now I'll just take all them. Um, I do not, I do not need even remotely all of them, so real quick, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna get a few more pellet posies. Collect all these, because I don't not, I do not need even remotely anywhere near all of these guys, so, just get two of those, and now we'll go back to where that Ionium Jet was. Leave the geyser alone. Well, actually, why don't you break that real quick? There we go. That'll be helpful to me in a second. Not very, but sort of. Alright, now that we've done that, let's get all of our blue picking on this thing. We got our uh, third chip part of the day? Yeah. Just for you guys, because nobody's going to leave you alone. Get all these guys. And make them swarm the pole. Alright, there we go. Now I go meet him up at the other side. Now, no matter what, I always manage to blow up my bomb rocks around here. I don't know what it is, but I'm just like, nine times out of ten, I can't get my bomb rocks out of this little area. Let's see if I can do it right today. Well, not nine times out of ten, but I don't know. Just I told you I hate where these things are placed, so yeah, you're about to see why. Alright, I'll just throw them all up here. Do not whistle for them once you've thrown them, because if you do, they will explode, and it is a pain. Let's do that. Run through them. I hate collecting them this way. But that's what's gotta be done. The last guy. And now let's bypass our buddies here. And go down with my bomb rocks. I wish these separated a little bit farther apart. I hope they fix that in the next Pikmin game. Anyway, one, two, three. Crap. Oh, I thought he was gonna die. Okay, it should've done way more damage than that. Why does it only take one now? I guess it's just through. Oh, wait, never mind. There we go. Up oh, there's the Iron Room Jet. We're there just in time to see it go in. Okay. Alright, there's the Iron Room Jet. Blah, blah, blah. Take some damage. Dismiss them. How many do I have left? Four. Okay, that's not nearly enough to do much damage to this thing, but let's do it anyway. Okay, why did that one not throw his bomb? Maybe he's kind of playing suicide like that last bomber I had. There we go. Alright, now that we've done all that, we do not need our yellow Pikmin anymore because there's actually no more bomb rocks we can get easily in this level. So instead, we're just going to put all our... Um, Yellows away, and we're gonna go try and flower as many blues as we can so we have an effective army of blues. Because right now our army of blue is pretty sorry. So pluck, pluck all these guys real quick. Pluck, 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 pluck. That's all of them? Oh, sweet. Okay. Alright, let's go find this nectar, shall we? Come on. Uh, da -da -da -da. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see here. Where can I get some nectar? It's a shame to waste the final moment of the day doing this, but I really need effective army of blues, so. It's gotta be done. Show me the nectar. Come on. Come on. Give me the nectar. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, there's no there's gotta be nectar there. There just has to be. Now that's a lot of flowers. That's more like it. Alright, guess that's it for this area. Continue research. So we still have quite a few, uh, few leaves in there. Oh, here's some more. Come on. Give me the nectar. Come on. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Crap, ten seconds left. 
get some more nectar. Come on, get as much as we can. All right, I think we got just about everybody. Let's take a look see here. Yep, that looks like it's everybody. Sweet. All right, so 42 um, flower blues. That's not bad at all. Now I'll just go put them away because for some reason I like doing that at the end of the day. With only two seconds left, no less. All right, in you guys go. You're leaving this planet with me whether you like it or not. Because your lives are irrelevant as long as I survive. All right, end of the day sequence for the win. Do 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 do. Okay, my voice is a little sore actually, so I probably shouldn't be doing that. Okay, just see the end of the day. Be on our way. A little tractor beam rainbow thing, and we're out of here. And we're off. That's an enemy called a Wally Walk. I'll go into him when we actually run into them. But you should know ahead of time, they're not fun. They're annoying on so many levels. Day four since impact. Deep in the cave I discovered in the forest, I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving on both land and on water and land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even on this alien planet. Yay, nature, whatever. Alright, so I lost three in battle. So technically I've only lost four in battle, but whatever. Save my game. Uh Sure. Oh well. Not my best recording ever, but I'll take it anyway, I guess. Okay, so next time on Let's Play Pikmin, we'll be actually going back to the Forest Naval because there's a lot more to do there, and, um, well, there's a lot more to do there. So, yep, that's where we'll be heading. Alright, see y'all next time.